are ya? Welcome back to my channel for one more gift guide. We've done one for us girls, but I think, I think we just need to do one for the men because men are so hard to shop for. Why is that? So I've actually spent a lot of time. I've pulled some people, I've pulled some men, and I feel very proud of this gift guide that I've put together. I have divided everything by price point. So we're gonna do gifts under $25. Surprisingly, I have a lot of those. Gifts under $50, gifts under $150, and then the spency category between $150 and $300 gifts, which I only have a couple of those. Thank goodness. Most of the gifts here are in the lower price point ideas, and I got a lot. So, let's just let's just get into it. First category, gift ideas under $25. The first thing I found is this key ring. These are enamel key rings. They're so cool looking, so kind of like retro, interesting, but subtle. All the men I asked were like, honestly, just practical things, you know, like socks, belts. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, a key ring is very practical and very cool. And you can get them things to go along with this. Like the next thing I have for you is this leather air tag holder. I would put air tags on this list, but I feel like we all we all did that last year or the year before, so probably all the men have air tags already, but this leather air tag holder is only $15 and you can put it on your $20 key ring. So you can, you know, combine things like that to give it to them, have a whole new setup, and then they won't lose their keys, which just saves relationships all across the world. <laughs> Next, this is something that I got my fiance and it has been a gift to me because he actually really likes it. That is a clean deodorant, um, specifically this brand, Salt and Stone. They have the best scents for men and it's like cologne but deodorant and the packaging is really nice. It just feels like more elevated and more exciting and more expensive than whatever they would pick up at the drugstore. These range 20, $25, depending on where you get it, but they're really great. Good stocking stuffer. $15, I have this elastic wallet for you from Threads. I feel like our generation has kind of aged out of the traditional wallets. I feel like that used to be the best gift idea, but you just don't really see the younger guys carrying big wallets anymore. You see them carrying this little thing. That's probably because we don't use cash. So you really only need a little thing to hold your ID, a couple credit cards, whatever that might be, and maybe a $20 bill. Um, so I thought that this was really nice, compact, sleek, very affordable. One more game changer that is really also a gift to us is solid cologne. I have learned that for some reason spray cologne, at least my fiance, isn't interested in it at all, but solid cologne he will do, and it is so much better for travel. We had a spray cologne explode during travel, and that was just like, it was a mess. It was a mess, but solid cologne travels really well. I found this one on Amazon for $25. Listen to the scent notes of this one. It's called Yellowstone. The packaging is just very cool, so I feel like they'd be into it. And it has scents of raw bergamot, clary sage, smoked whiskey, and charred vanilla. So I feel like that's just a win. Delicious, and somehow only $25. Next, for $10, I feel like this toes the line between a gadget but also practical and useful, and it's only $10. It's an electric lighter, so light a candle, light whatever, um, and it's kind of a cool little party trick because it's not a traditional flame, it's just electricity that catches things on fire. Don't ask me to explain the science there, I don't really understand, but I do feel like it would be such a good little stocking stuffer or small little gift if you're looking to buy something under $10. Next is something I just bought. I got a three pack of this for $16. This is Rewear Spray. It's a fabric refresher. I also don't know how many of you struggle with this, but some men just don't wanna wash their clothes. They wanna rewear it immediately. And I'm like, it's been four wears. Can we wash it? No? Okay, so this is kind of like the best solution. I'm also bringing some of these along for travel when we won't have access to a washer dryer, but this smells like clean laundry and it refreshes, it eliminates odors, and it also removes wrinkles, which is really nice. So you just put it on a hanger and you just click this to unlock it. And then your clothes smell clean and aren't as wrinkly and it's, it literally smells like clean laundry. And last but not least, I feel like a good travel coffee mug is always a win. I know boys love Yeti. So there's this Yeti coffee mug that has a little travel top to it as well for $25. It's insulated, it looks cool, and I feel like that's a great gift. 
Next, let's get to the under $45 category. The first thing we got is a tip from my brother-in-law. I went ahead and got these for Jordy. These are the Amazon dupe of like the Lululemon slacks. They feel kind of like joggers, but they look really nice. They come in a ton of different colors. I will link them for you, but they look like dress pants and they're $45. We got these for some nice dinners that we're going to in Paris, but also if you're shopping for someone that has a more professional job or if there's events coming up or whatever, $45 slacks. My brother-in-law swears by them. He says they're the most comfortable thing and he literally wears them every single day. So we can all thank Mark for that one. Next, like I said, for some reason, whenever I ask men what's a good gift, they all said socks. <laughs> So I found these, um, I've just heard that so many people like Bombas um, and they have a four pack that look really nice. They are thick, I have felt them. So they probably hold up really well. You don't have the toes poking through within a month, which is really nice. This I thought was a really cool idea a friend told me about. This is a record club subscription. This is Magnolia Record Club subscription. The price varies depending on which subscription model you choose. But if you have a music lover in your life and if they have vinyl, then this is a fun way to have a gift that keeps giving. I feel like subscription gifts are always so fun because it's not a one and done. You could choose three months or six months or whatever to where something will come to their door and it's fun to get a new vinyl record. For $49, a techie water bottle. Yet again, blending tech gadget with useful practical, I feel like is always a win. This brand is called Lark. I got a Lark gift years ago, but since then they have come out with so many more. This is a water bottle that has a filtration system inside of it. So I feel like this is really good for like the outdoorsy guys, if they are camping or whatever, they can like feel like they've filtered their water more and have cleaner drinking water, but it also looks really sleek. It's $49 and I feel like that's just a great gift. Next, this slim power charger. This um, is so small. Should I just open it and show you? Good thing I opened this because they accidentally sent me pink when I don't think I ordered pink. <laughs> they have the built-in little charging cables on the side. Looks like there's a, a lightning and a USB-C, which is so nice. And it folds up into almost nothing. It has 6,000 mAh, which when I was looking online, don't exactly know what that measures, but it was a lot higher than the alternatives. And I think it can charge your phone a couple times over and is tiny. So great for travel, great for work. I will get one not in pink. Okay, a hoodie. Man, if you're watching this, wear a hoodie with like a jacket over it, whether that's a denim jacket or like a, um, what's that material? Canvas jacket over a hoodie with the hood popping out the back. Perfection, that's all you need. There's this one hoodie, Everlane recently clearanced it way down. So um, while I'm looking at this right now, the stock is pretty low, but it's the Everyone Track Hoodie. It's $31 right now. Normally it's 78, hopefully. Hopefully the color or size that you like is still in stock because that is such a good gift to get something as quality as Everlane in the $30 range. And it's just a staple. It's practical, it's a staple, and it looks so good. It's such a good layering piece. Next. A homesick candle. I've done this a couple times. If there's a special city or state, maybe a trip you took, maybe you guys met at college in Austin and then you can get him the Austin homesick candle or maybe you got engaged in Hawaii. You can get the Hawaii homesick candle. You can get like a special homesick candle for whatever to represent anything. Maybe it's your dad and he's from a different city. You can get him a homesick candle that represents that city. I just think surprisingly, Candles are always a hit um, across across genders, and when it has a little extra meaning to it, it makes it more special. So these homesick candles range in price. They're states, cities, countries. My goodness, right now they're all in the twenty dollars, but normally they're closer to thirty to forty. There's a big sale happening right now over there as well. That's really great. And last but not least. For the under $50 range, for $30, we have a Carhartt sling bag. Sling bags are so practical, they're so handy. I now have several and they look great on men as well. So the Carhartt is a great brand for gifting. Carhartt's just like classic, been around a long time, very cool, subtle, not super flashy. So I feel like that always does really well. So Carhartt sling bag checks all those boxes. Now we have moved on to the under $150 range. And this has some this has some gems in it. The first one is what I'm doing. So Jordy, if you're watching this video, click out now. 
click out, go, goodbye. I did this for him last year and it, he said it was his favorite thing ever. A little scavenger hunt that leads to a gift and the gift is going to be a date night, whatever. There is a um, pirate bar that he loves in town that you have to buy the gold coins to get a drink. So I'm gonna bury a little treasure chest with the gold coins as like a date night and lead him around a scavenger hunt until he has to dig out the treasure chest. But you could do this in a lot of different ways. You could do a scavenger hunt where every single spot has a gift card with the next clue, whether that's a gift card for him or a couple date night things like a $10 one to get ice cream together, $10 one to get coffee together, $20 one to like a pizza spot to get a pizza together, whatever that might be, I think is such a cute, special idea. And it's like a hands-on activity, which makes it so much more fun and meaningful. So that's what I'm doing this year. Feel free to steal that idea. You could totally do it under $150, especially if there's small little gift card date night things. I think every single guy, no matter what type of guy he is, can pull off vintage style Chuck Taylors. They're 90 bucks. They look so good. They'll never go out of style. They've been in style my whole life and like my parents' whole life as well. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by a beautiful hummingbird right outside the window. It's like a vibrant green. Anyways, Chuck Taylors, I just think that they look so good. They look so good. They make any outfit look like effortlessly cool and elevated all at the same time. Next, this is something that I previously got as a gift and it's been a huge hit. There's this jacket from October. October, I don't know how you say that in French. It's basically Cezanne's men's line. It's called the Will Jacket. I have the Will Jacket from their women's line as well, but you can embroider anything on it. And so once I got Jordy the uh, like the natural canvas kind of color one and I embroidered our wedding date on it and it was just a special sentimental gift. I'll show you what it looks like. But you can embroider anything on it and it comes in a ton of different colors. It comes in denim, a ton of different things. So it just kind of makes a great gift. Here's what it looks like on him. It's really sweet. You can get the stitching in whatever color as well. So it's a little bit sentimental, but a great staple wardrobe piece as well. Next, this is what I did last year. These are the milk brand photo books. I got it in this like special box, but the book is here. And this is basically just a really nice photo book. The price varies depending on how many pages you do. I kind of just like recapped our whole year in this book, um, kind of sequentially all the things that we did. And I think it's a really great memory and keepsake that one day we could show future generations and be like, this was the first year that we dated with all the different things inside of it. And so it's super fun to put together. So this is 2022 on the side, our first year. And I got J and M and then the box with our photo on it as well. Next, Raycon earbuds. I've worked with this brand a lot in the past. I think I still have a discount link. If I do, I'll put it in the description, but these are just really great earbuds. I am a huge believer in having a couple types of earbuds if you travel, because um, one can die, They're, they have different uses and they feel different in your ear. So if you have one type of earbud in your ear for a long time, they start to hurt. So I switch back and forth between types. I like Raycon for travel because the battery life is insane. They're not as good at phone calls as like an AirPod, but for travel and for listening and for having a long battery life, they're really durable and I like them as well. And they are $68, but I think I have a discount code. So I'll try to find that for y'all. Next, tickets to favorite artist, concert, sports game, comedy show, whatever. It's always a good gift, an experience. This portable speaker is so great. I love this portable speaker. It is $119 right now. Sometimes it's as high as 150, but they seem to be on sale everywhere right now. It's this Bose little portable speaker. The amount of sound this thing can project is really impressive and it's small enough to travel with it. We use this outside when we have people over, it's like, not too small to where it doesn't really work over the volume of groups, but it's not so huge that it's impossible to throw in a bag. It's kind of the perfect in between. We really love it. I had several men say, honestly, I just like nice whiskey. <laughs> so if there's like a nice liquor of any sort, um, tequila, whiskey, whatever, that always makes a good gift under $150. Somebody else gave me the idea of a gift card for like a haircut shave, just kind of like a men's pamper day. I think that's a great idea as well. Next, Viore. So many people love this brand, so comfortable. They have a lot of great things, joggers. I'm gonna link these shorts for you though. I feel like lounge shorts are always a good idea. Something they feel comfy in but still look good in is just a win. 
And last but not least, for $60, I have this travel cord carrying case. Kind of keep all the tech things organized if you have someone that travels a lot as well and likes to keep all their little cords not tangled. Great gift. Which moves us to the Spency category, 150 to $300 range. First, this is the best, best, best thing that I've ever got as a gift. Jordy was on a tour and one of the guys had this backpack and all of the guys were like, I need that. And now all of them have it and it is really the coolest backpack. It's pretty expensive, it's $249. It's like the Traveler backpack from this brand called Air, A-E-R. This thing has so many different storage compartments. You can fit so much into this backpack. Sometimes he takes this instead of a suitcase for like a five day trip. You could fit so much. So many different little hidden pockets. It's just really smartly organized. It can completely unzip and like fold flat. So you're not rummaging in it. You can like open it up and see everything in it. It's a really cool backpack. If you have the budget, it's a hit. Butcher box. I went, I used to work with this brand and I went to look and my discount's no longer active. They've stopped working with YouTube in general, which makes me sad because it's such a good brand, but you can get like a steak box or just like a variety of different types of meats delivered. And the quality of this meat is so good. Um, Jordy gets really excited whenever one comes in because the steak he said is his favorite steak he's ever grilled before in his life. So you can get like a steak sample box for $175 and that's enough to eat quite a few steak dinners together. So if you think about it in comparison to eating out steak, it's actually a pretty good deal. But if you have a chef in your life, that's a great gift. Next, the Hatch Restore Alarm. This is another thing that I have gotten Jordy as a gift over the years, and I was kind of like, I don't know if he's gonna like it or not, because it feels a little bit girly. Is it useful? And he loves it. He loves it. So I think it just looks very sleek if you like to have the time on your bedside table an elevated alarm, wakes you up really gently, has a lot of cool different features. Um, so I'm really glad that it was well received. And last but not least, I feel like the best thing, men love to have gifts related to their hobby. So I know a lot of like my brother-in-law, very into golf or Jordy variant to surf and skateboard. So if it's like a new surfboard or boogie board or wetsuit for him or for my brother-in-law, a new carrier for the clubs, what is that called? Or a golf club or even a thing to clean the golf clubs. I don't know what any of this is called, but anything related to their hobby, such a good gift and that's, that's always the cop out. But I feel like it's not that hard to ask them, is there any other surfboard that you've an eye? And they're like, oh my gosh, did you see the nine foot long board from blah, 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 that's sick. Easy, done, you know what I mean? But that concludes my men's gift guide. I hope this is helpful. I feel like I had more ideas than for my women's gift guide and that's because my women's gift guide came all from my brain and my men's gift guide, I consulted. <laughs> so hopefully that's helpful. I will have everything linked down below, divided by price point if you need to shop anything, especially the smaller under $25 tier, such good stocking stuffers. If you do stockings, you can order those last minute. Most of them are from Amazon. So you got plenty of time once this video comes out, but I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.